From coast to coast, brisket's one of the most popular things to cook. Everyone knows about brisket, uh, regardless of where you're at. For a lot of people and different cookers, brisket's a hard thing to cook. With the pit barrel, it makes it really easy. So I'm, I'm typically looking for a full pack of brisket if I can get my hands on it. Something around 16 pounds, we're gonna cook it for a, for a, a total time of around six hours, hitting a, a temperature of about 200 degrees. So preparation for brisket is really simple. All this fat is not gonna render in the cook, but we wanna leave some on. So I'm gonna start trimming some of this off here, then basically the cap here, Got those pockets of fat out of there that won't render. And the last thing we're gonna do is basically square this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make a cut right across here and clean this up. Our goal was to try to get right around a quarter inch thick of fat along that bottom there. This is a good trick, is once it cooks, it's hard to see where the grain's going sometimes. So we wanna make sure that when we get our slices, we're cutting against the grain. So I like to just do a little notch right here, just to take the tip off, to give me a nice reference. Light coat of olive oil, our beef and game seasoning. The next thing we're gonna do is hook placement. We're gonna use two hooks just to secure it. It'll probably be okay with one, but we wanna make sure we get two. We're gonna come through, and we wanna make sure that the hook li lines up right about here so we can, there's enough room to get that rebar in there. So we're gonna, we have our mark right here. I'm going to take it with my finger, run it right through there. So we've got, got that room there. The next thing I'm going to do is reverse this hook, put as much tension on, and come right down through it. And that's it. And we're ready to go hang it on the pit barrel. When we hang it in the pit barrel, I typically take it to right around 160. We'll pull it out. We use what we call wrapping juice. I use a good beef broth. Simple, gives it that good moistness, and half a cup is all you need. Absolutely key that we do not let the juices out and we wanna make sure that we don't tear the tin foil. So we just wanna be real, real careful with it. We're going to take it to a temperature of about 200 degrees. So once you pull the brisket out of the pit barrel, it's finished. It's absolutely crucial to let the brisket rest. I'd recommend keeping it in the tin foil, wrapping it up in a beach towel, putting it in a small cooler, of course with no ice in it, and let it sit for an hour. Cutting it is very important. You've got it on the cutting board, and you want to make sure you cut against the grain. When you're making your slices on, on the brisket and you see that nice smoke ring, that, that nice layer of pink, you know that you've done something right. Nothing makes it easier than a pit barrel to get that smoke ring.